right, thank you for uh, this honor to be invited. Uh, so I, I should say that for me, like, just like Nick Katz, I, I, it's the 50th anniversary for, of my first visit to IGS, for the 68th first time. What happened was that I was in Oxford with Atia, and he, he, before leaving, before I left Oxford, he called Grothendieck by phone and said whether he can, uh, whether I can stay here for a day or two, and he said yes, so I had a wonderful uh, discussion and everything. And, uh, and all together, I, I spent maybe, if I add the, tot the, the total amount of time, maybe two years I spent at IGS, but in, in, in different, uh, uh, so uh, which, which played a very big role for me. Now about, uh, about uh, off offer, Gaber, I, I, uh <coughs> I think I, I first saw him, not met him, but saw him uh, maybe 10 years after that, when he was, when I went to MIT and he was a student at Harvard. And I remember going to, uh, only thing I remember, he, I went to lecture by Sir, where he, he, he was the only one who understood every, everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then, then several years later, I think uh, we, we also uh, had some, uh, I think I, I benefited tremendously from his work on pervert chief, which, which were, were quite important for me. <coughs> uh, so uh, so in, in the thing I will talk about today, uh, I have to say that uh, his, his Gaber's work will not appear explicitly, but they all, in fact, without his work, this, this, I, I couldn't say uh, not one word, I think. Everything I say, it's, it's wouldn't exist without his work. <coughs> Okay, so uh, so I will uh, talk about some uh, property of reductive groups or, or algebraic closed field, uh, which uh, which I think is it's it's uh, maybe not not so well known. So um, so I will always consider uh, K algebraic closed field characteristic P can be zero, and G will be connected reductive groups, reductive group. <coughs> so the uh, classification of such uh, groups was given by uh, Chevalet in 1955, and they, they are independent, so it's a very remarkable thing, they're independent of, uh, of classification is independent of, of K. That's a uh, uh <coughs> classification. Uh, but what, what I uh, what I uh, try to do, I try to decompose G into into finitely many pieces uh, as a partition, and which which uh, namely uh, what what I try to do is following. So 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 let uh, C L of G set of conjugacy classes, <coughs> and if um, <coughs> If a C is, is a conjugacy class, then its dimension is known to be at between zero and uh, dimension of G mod the maximal torus. <coughs> and uh, and this, this uh, suggests that there are two important subsets of the set of conjugacy classes. Uh, one is a set of regular elements, they are all C, so the dimension of C equals and the other one is uh, center, which are all C where dimension is conjugate class is zero. And what I try to do, I try to interpolate, I, I, I will try to interpolate between those two extremes, but I, I, I will define some partition of of, of G, which in which this one part and this another part. <coughs> so I need some. Uh, so so in this partition, um, uh, e each piece will be union of conjugacy classes of fixed dimension. And the the most r remarkable thing about this partition is that. 
the indexing set for the pieces is independent of a characteristic of, of a field. So that that, that is the. Uh, <coughs> uh, so now we need some definitions. So so I will I'll use uh, B will be the variety of Borel subgroups. Uh, w is a bar group. And uh, then it is uh, known that it can be interpreted as uh, saying that B cross B is union of, of uh, subsets indexed by the bar group, which are the orbits of the group G. <coughs> and then uh, from this, you can get a length function on the bar group, which uh, this equals the dimension of OW minus dimension of B. And then we need a set of simple reflections. These are all S, S equals 1. This generates the VAR group. <coughs> now, for, for, for us, important, so if, if, if G is an element of the group, then uh, if you want to consider, consider the uh, all Borel subgroups, containing G. So this also called Springer fiber. <coughs> and then uh, there's a, a, a theorem of Spartenstein, uh, which says, uh, I think he was actually my, my student, but says that uh, BG has all, all components, well, certainly it's not empty, but all components have the same dimension. <coughs> so BG has dimension, we call it DG, so it's a pure dimension. And this number is, is actually equal to uh, dimension of B minus dimension of conjugacy class of G divided by 2. So this was pr proved by actually by uh, this is the second equality was proved by Steinberg in characteristic zero and by Spartanstein any characteristic. <coughs> okay, now uh, the set of re regular elements has been uh, studied first by uh, constant in a Lie algebra setting and by Steinberg in a group theoretic setting. And Steinberg has given two, two uh, so there are two, two, two def dif complete different definitions of, of, of the set. So one is that this uh, whole conjugate, this is a union. <coughs> I believe the cost constant was more than just in characteristic zero. Yes, characteristic zero. And, uh, yes. Steinberg was in Any characteristic, yeah. yes, yes. <coughs> So what can describe the regular elements is all elements of a group for which this uh, dimension of this uh, variety BG is zero. And that, that is because that's the same as saying that uh, dimension of the class is uh, as large as possible. <coughs> and, uh, but there's a, there's a uh, completely different definition th uh, which is due to Steinberg, so C, conjugacy class uh, is in, in G is contained in a regular set if and only if the following is true uh, for some or any uh, Coxeter element so I will say what it is of minimal length W uh, this if you take this class intersect uh, so, so, so suppose you fix some uh, B. Uh, so C intersected B W B is not not empty. Uh, 
So, so, uh, so Steinberg showed that I if this is true for one Cox element of minimal length, then it's true for any other Cox element of minimal length. And this characterizes the regular. And this was Steinberg, 1965. <coughs> By the way, Cox element minimal length this is a product of the simple reflections in, in, in any order. <coughs> this is a definition of the word coxeter element or coxeter element of minimal length? Minimal length. Of minimal any, any, conju any conjugate of that. <coughs> w conjugate. And similarly, this uh, the central part can be also characterized in two, two different ways, uh, which are similar to this. So one is that all group elements are the dg equals dimension of flag manifold. So a fi fixed point set in a flag manifold. So it's called all elements contained in all Borel subgroups. And it's also the case that element G is in the center if uh, G is contained in B unit element times B, but G is not contained in any other if W is not one. <coughs> so in this description, these uh, regular elements have, you can associate with them in some sense the conjugacy class of a Cox element and here you can associate the conjugate class of unit element. Hmm? By the way, the formula I didn't understand. You wrote it, maybe there is some uh, small mistake in Falkenstein's formula oh. because uh, radical in, radical in the rad, in the, you, you write d, d minus, so first you divide by two rad, that's the dimension of the class, of the class, yes? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, but then, uh, in the regular case, the, according to your formula, it's the dimension of G mod T, so you get twice the dimension of the unipotent <coughs> radical. That's the same as dimension, that's the dimension, not a parallel, the dimension of flag manifold, is that? Uh, this one. So that's... Ah, it's not dimension of B, but okay. Yeah, the okay, okay. Yeah. Dimension of, okay, so it's the curly B. Curly B, yes. <coughs> Okay, so now uh, I want to try to give, now give a definition of a stratification. So for any uh, element of the group, we, we look at a homology group of this uh, Springer fiber in a top dimension. This is a top dimension because dimension is, pi is the two of G. And then we can map this to homology group. So this with et al homology homology of the full flag manifold. So there's a, there's a natural map. And we define E G to be the image of this, of this homomorphism. <coughs> what is the criterion for G and G center? Well, G is in B, G in the, in the center, which is only G is in B1, B, and not in B1. Yeah, not in BWB. But the, it doesn't seem to be. Maybe uh, so what, is, what is your assertion? Because if you take your, not, suddenly B as non-central uh, elements. Uh, okay, well, well, yeah. All these, all ah, all conjugacy class, all, I mean, all conjugates of G satisfy yes. this. Yes. <coughs> yes. Yes. Okay, so for each uh, element or group, we can associate the subspace of the homology group of flag manifold with, uh, with, with the Eladi coefficient. So. Okay. <coughs> and then we say, uh, we define, we say two elements are equivalent uh, if uh, dg equals, d so this, this uh, dimension, this is the same, and also eg equals eg prime. 
<coughs> so, so this obviously equivalence relation on the uh, on our on our reductive group, and the uh, equivalence classes are called strata. And uh, so of course you can do it in terms of chow groups here because so okay, yeah. yeah okay yeah. so it's, it's and then it's the pair of uh, yes but I, but I have to quote some things which are probably a tal cohomology so so but <coughs> so uh, and it's it's, uh, it's clear that the uh, strat each stratum is a union of conjugates classes of fixed dimension because because of this condition and because of this reductus Spartenstein. So so strat each stratum is a union of conjugates classes of fixed dimension, which is uh, given by that formula. So fixed. <coughs> Uh, now, actually, this definition is not yet clear that there are finitely many strata. So, so for this, you have to use some uh, some properties. So, one one property is that W is val group, but it's well known that it acts naturally on on the homology groups of flag manifold <coughs> because this can be replaced by G mod T, and then on G mod T, there's a val group action. <coughs> And, uh, and there's, a, there's a claim is that uh, the subspace of the homology group is always W stable, V of G. <coughs> so, so this statement uh, can, be, it can be deduced. You can to prove this, you can assume that G is unipotent. Uh, and th that's an easy reduction. And in the important case, this follows from result of Springer, 1976, assuming p equals zero or p large. Or, and in, or, or myself in 1984 for any p. So, so in the important case, you have to. And, and actually, this, at this point, uh, result of Gabber or, or uh, enter in, in the proof of those things. So this W stable, <coughs> and uh, more than that, in fact, EG is irreducible as a W model. <coughs> and also, uh, also EG appears with multiplicity one. in the homology of this uh, flag manifold. <coughs> in its val val in a value representation. And it doesn't appear in any lower one. So all, all these are, are uh, proved here and here. But it can, of course, it has to appear higher. What? It has to appear higher usually because, ah, yes, yes. because you get regular representation. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. yes, but not lower. But uh, and, and, and what, 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 uh, what you can deduce from this is that uh, this pair of DG and EG <laughs> can be reconstructed uh, uh, from the isomorphism class of, of the Isvargo representation. So if you have a value representation as a more class, then this DG is uniquely determined b because it's a, it's a first degree in which it value representation occurs. And uh, this subspace also uniquely determined because it's only subspace which carries that representation. So, so you can view this, um, uh, th this uh, strata, uh, you can say that you're indexed by a certain set of value group representations. By the way, concerning value group representations, is it true that they are all defined? Is there some ration general rationality fact that they are all over Q? Yeah, they all, all, all defined over Q. 
Var du vetë që orë vetë që orë defajnë dhe vërkju, jo. Në zdojnë, jo. So strata, so strata are in one-to-one correspondence with a certain subset which I call is a subset of the, take all units of relation of our group and then it's a subset of this which uh, which are all repetition which appear in this way and uh, they they are in bijection strata so strata are indexed by, by this subset so so from this description it's clear that your final element is strata <coughs> okay now now we want to give a second uh, so 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 anyway this is analogous to uh, to this and this uh, definition so now I want to give a second definition analogous to this and this. <coughs> so, with the, so we denote by, by this symbol or conjugacy class in the VAR group. And if you have any conjugacy class in the VAR group, you can consider all elements of minimal length. So uh, all G, all W, such that W equals minimum possible. <coughs> so W length achieve minimum value on this conjugacy class. And then for W in W, we can look at uh, set all all elements of the group such that B and G B G inverse is in O W for some B some 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 Borelsa group. So th this is a union of uh, conjugacy classes. Uh, but then we also define for any any conjugacy class in VAR group, we define G gamma to be a GW, where W is element of minimal length. So here is an issue. You have to you have to uh, you have to verify that this definition is correct because it, you have to check that this. Uh, uh, this, this set is, is independent of the choice of an element of minimal length. And this one can be, so this definition is correct. You, you can deduce from a result of uh, uh, Gek and Pfeiffer. So follows from Gek and Pfeiffer. Uh, so, so Gek and Pfeiffer has shown that if you have a conjugacy class in VAR group and take two elements of minimal length, then there is some, uh, some kind of elementary operation which can transform one into the other. And, it's a, it's, and using, using that, it's a very, uh, very non-obvious result. But if you know that, then you can check that this uh, set remains is the same, in, in independent of W. Uh, so this theorem was uh, proved by Gek and Pfeiffer using a computer, actually, in exceptional group, proof based by computer. Uh, but uh, the use of a computer was eliminated by, by uh, her and Nye. So that, that's a conceptual proof. is the same her as appeared in Williamson's talk, same, same, who is actually also my student, who was former, former student. So, so anyway, so thi this thing is a non-obvious statement, but it's, it can be verified. Uh, then, um, then we denote by uh, delta <coughs> gamma, so gamma is a conjugate class in bar group, is a minimum of dimension of C, where C is any conjugacy class of G, such that 
which, which is contained in, in, in uh, G gamma. So this set is a union of conjugacy classes and take all those of minimum, minimum dimension. And the minimum dimension is, is denoted like this. <coughs> and then, then you can also de de define G gamma in a, in a box. I think it's a not, not a, well, some, uh, I don't know, better notation. is a union of all conjugacy classes of minimum dimension. So C contained in CLG. Uh, C contained in G gamma and dimension of C equals delta gamma. <coughs> okay, so, so this, uh, uh, in this way. So, so this is a constructible set or? Uh, it's certainly a constructible set, yes. Um, and then there's a following uh, claim, which is actually also not, not obvious at all. So claim is that if gamma and gamma prime are conjugacy classes in, in the Val group, then uh, the set G gamma in, and G gamma prime are either equal or disjoint. And uh, moreover, they, they cover the entire group. So, the, uh, so in, this, in this way, you get another stratification, another way to divide the group into pieces, namely all, all the subsets of this form. And uh, then, then, uh, uh, the, then, I, I, then the other claim is that this, strat, this definition of stratum and this definition of stratum is the same. Are they non-empty? Yes. Th these are all non-empty, yes. Uh, but before you had only a subset of E of W. But now, but now you have a quotient of this. So the, here the strata are, yeah, before, so, so you can say the following. <laughs> there's a strata ah, okay, of G and then there's a irreducible of W, which is a subset yes. of this. And then there's also a bijection with conjugacy class and Val group, but now it's modular some equivalence relation. Oh, okay. <coughs> and, in, in, and in particular, there's a, there's a natural map from conjugacy class in the Val group to irreducible representation of the Val group. Uh, whose image is uh, index will index set of strata, okay. <coughs> and in a case of uh, in type A, it is, uh, this this map is a bijection. Of other all other types is not a bijection. And you claim that this is independent of the characteristic. Oh, that's that's the next claim. Yes. <coughs> okay. Oh, by by the way, I should say that uh, the proof of of this statement is actually, uh, it, it uh, is for classical groups, it's, so it's case by case, so classical groups you can check, but exceptional groups, it, it relies on use of computer. Uh, and in fact, at this point you have to use uh, representation theory of groups of finite fields. So you, you have to use ev everything that is known, the re representation of finite field. So it's, it's, not, it's not, not an easy result in some sense, but <coughs> that is true. Uh, so now the ah, and, and, and from from this point of view, the this regular set appears as G gamma in a box where gamma is the conjugacy class of a Coxter element, and the and the central part of a group is G gamma in box, where gamma is a unit element. <coughs> okay, so now, now I want to give another description of this index set, uh, which is, uh, which will make clear that it is independent of characteristic. So the index set of the set of strata. 
so, so suppose G U is all set of unipotent, uh, well, maybe uh, U C L G, they're all unipotent, set of all unipotent conjugacy classes. So, uh, so this, this set is known to be finite. Uh, but uh, so actually, it was proved. Finite case was proved by for p equals zero, was morals of uh, Jacobson and uh, Maltsev. And uh, actually, fact that is Maltsev is something no, not known. I think some some people completely ignore that. So I think it's always attributed to somebody else, to Dinkin or, or some other people. But fact. I, I, I check is Maltsev. So this was 1942, 1951, 1944. <coughs> and then for P different, for P uh, greater than five, Richardson, and then for any P is uh, my, my paper, 1960, uh, 1976, which was actually written at, at IHES, I think. Uh, so that's so, and we have to use this this, this thing, and then the uh, well the classification. I will not so this all the result of a classification, which are more precise than finiteness, but I will not give references to that. But what is uh, important is that this set of unipotent classes of G. Of course, you can attach to them uh, some. Uh, well, you can restrict this map. You can attach them some irreducible representation of our group. <coughs> uh, so there's a map to this uh, to this subset which I defined before. So this is a restriction of the map uh, before. Uh, but th this will be not will, will be will be injective. That that's also that's injective. And the fact that it's injective. It also follows from from uh, the Springer for p zero and p large, and for my paper for any p. <coughs> and then it has an image, which which does depend on characteristic. So it's irreducible. Uh, so I call irreducible var group index p. So image is is, is this uh, depends on characteristic. <coughs> Uh, and now uh, the, the, the claim is the following that, so the following claim is the reducible pressure of the VAR group with, with this un underlined, so that's the index set for our strata, is actually the union of, uh, of these things, maybe put here a P prime, over all prime numbers, all, all prime numbers. Uh, so in this description, you, you see that this set is independent of the characteristic because this, this side hasn't you, here you have all prime numbers, so, so it's independent of characteristic. <coughs> so index. And there's another way to, to uh, look at this, namely, um, ah, it, it's also true that if take user representations of uh, uh, VAR group in classic zero, it's also contained in, 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 this, in this one, for NEP. And this means that the, uh, the unipotent conjugacy classes in a group G over complex numbers can be viewed as a subset of the unipotent conjugacy classes in, in G over F. So maybe it's P prime here, P prime. So if you have one algebraic closed field of classic P, it always contains as a subset the co 
Unipotent class is classic P contains a subset. Unipotent class is classic zero. Yeah, so there is a distinguished way to specialize. Yeah, well, is this because using bec because this 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 in bijection with this and this in bijection with this, and this is a subset. Okay, so there is a, but is it the case that when you have uh, the group, let's say over Q, or by the mm -hmm. way, the, the, the classes are parameterized by some combinatorial sets, so they're all defined over Q, I suppose, the unipotent. Uh, when you have a split form, yes. the, group, the classes in GC are defined over the rationals. Yes. Okay, so you suppose you have such a class, you, this you take the <laughs> that's probably that's probably true, but I don't think it has been. But I don't think this has been. This most most likely is true what you're saying, but uh, but the way I, I know it is is by, is by this. Okay. So you don't say that, that you take the schematic logic. No, 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 no. I don't. It could be the case. It could be the case. Yes, most likely. But okay, uh, okay. and then. Uh, then you can form the following set CL of G uh, and uh, underlined. You take union of all unipotent conjugacy classes over all uh, for P, P prime, any prime number. Uh, but uh, s but these, these sets are not viewed as disjoint. We, we identify uh, in each, for each p prime, you identify this set is only considered once. Uh, so, so you you can do that. So you have this unipotent conjugacy classes in for prime two, and prime three, and five, etc. Each of them contains a subset which are these things in classic zero. So this classic zero, it's al always a subset of this. <coughs> And then you take the union of all, all, all those things, but in which uh, this part and this part and this part are identified with each other. So this is the definition of class G underline? Yes. The disjoint union. OK, the union is about the way. Yes, yes. And, I think by def and, and actually, this is uh, the uh, same as, as, uh, as, uh, as, as uh, this, this, uh, as this set here. So, so these these two are in bijection. Ah, <coughs> the union of uh, I know what you say that in this union the intersection for different prime numbers yes. are exactly the same. The, the exactly the exactly thing, thing for, for which come from complex numbers. Yes. Yes. And so 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 this set can be also viewed as a index set for for the bar group for the uh, strata. Uh, but in fact. Uh, in fact, there's very little happens here. So, so uh, from a characteristic, uh, if you have classic, uh, cl some classical group, then uh, this thing for prime two differs from from zero, but all the other primes are, are the same as for for classic zero. So, so this uh, set in this case, ca a classical group is just unipotent classes in characteristic two. In classical, but not GL or SL. In, in, in GL, in GL, you, there's a, the only everything is classic zero. In classical group, it's only classic two. But if you take E8, then for two and three, you have uh, d some different. Uh, dif some this, this set is not the same. So so in E8, uh, this set has 74 elements, and this has 71 elements. These are 70 elements, and these are 70 elements. For all, all other primes, is 70. And if you take the union, you get 75 elements. So, so the 75 elements of which 70 come from classic 0, and 4 exist only in classic 2, and 1 exists only in classic 3. And uh, for other groups? Uh, no, no, in other groups, you can never have two different primes. So either 2 or 3? Yeah, in G2, you can have 3. And for all other groups, you have only two at most. E7, E6, only, uh, e, e, E6, only there's nothing, and E7 is two. F4 is only two. <coughs> so, and, and then, then you can say the following thing, that, uh, uh, that the following uh, claim. So, so I said strata are, are indexed by something independent of P, but uh, any stratum uh, contains 
contains at most one unipotent class. And any stratum actually contains, con does contain some unipotent class in some characteristic. If you take the stratum and you move it to some, you take the corresponding stratum in some different characteristic, then it will have a unipotent class. <coughs> uh, exactly one. Some characteristic. Okay, so uh, now I should say that the fact that this, this, these two sets are, are, are the same is it's proof case by case. I, don't, uh, I think I, it's, it's a miracle. I don't understand why it is true, but, but you, you, can, you can check. And also, for the amalgamation of the intersection, you just do it using the classification. Yes, yes. <coughs> Now, uh, maybe I have to make some remark. Something when I was at ICS the first time, I talked with Grottendieck, actually, and I told him I proved something using many verification of many cases. And I, I, I thought that's not good. But Grottendieck said, oh, that's excellent. That's, that's, that's how the deep, deep, deeper results are, should be proved like that. <laughs> with, with the, so so he, 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 he thought that that was positive, actually. So I, I, I always remember that. Uh, <coughs> oh, so now there's a second, another miraculous fact. So, uh, uh, so this, this property this, uh, I said in terms of the representation of Val group. <coughs> so. Uh, so if you take the, the, your group G, it also has a Langlands dual. Uh, Langlands dual has the same val group as, 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 as G. And the claim is that this, this set of the representation of val group is exactly the same. So, so the sa it's the same for uh, G and... So, so these strata are extremely uh, stable things. They're, they're not only independent of characteristic, they're also the same for a group and for its dual. <coughs> and the one with index P? What? The stuff is index P. No, no. The union of the, of the guy sub P. Yeah, but this, this set is also, uh, is also the same for, for the two. What? This, this, well, because of, of this, since this is, so this bijection is. But the individual subsets is a, is a P in them. What? The, the RWP, are they also independent? The RWP is also the same for G and G dual. This WP. Your, your yeah, w, w sub P. <coughs> you the define the index. You define the index. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no. Not the same. No. And is the map from the conjugacy classes to the reducible representations, is it also independent of the Yes, independent, yes. Uh, independent of? Characteristic. And, and, and also independent of passing to dual. What is the, the, the map from your? The map from conjugacy classes in a val uh, group. So where are the, here, this map here. It's independent of P and it's also independent of passing through dual. <coughs> so actually one, one consequence of this is, is sup uh, suppose you look at uh, a symplectic group SP2N over C and also SO2N plus 1 over C. And for each of these groups, you make a list of all dimensions of all conjugacy classes. Just write, write a list of dimen possible dimensions. Then those two lists are identical. So it's, it's, not, it's not obvious, I think. <coughs> so a list, list of dimensions. So, uh, is the 
the conjugacy classes. Ah, yes. Yeah, so the, in particular, the list of dimensions is independent of the characteristic by the stuff you yes. you mentioned before. But, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, but why does it follow that the dimensions are the same for G and the dual, Laplace dual? Because you can recognize. Suppose you know that. Uh, yeah. Does it follow from from the no, concept or just from the? Because for a given irreducible representation of W, you have to know the first D for which it appears in H two D. But uh, yeah, but uh, that's the same for one group and for dual. Yes, that's obvious. That's, that's the same. Obvious. Yeah, because it's a uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it's uh, that this uh, commodity fragment for this some um, covariant of some var group. Oh, oh, so the, the, the cohomology uh, rings are yeah. for this. Yeah. Cohomology rings are isomorphic. Yeah. Okay. okay, so now I want to. Uh, oh, yes, actually, one, one, uh, one strange uh, consequence is that. The unipotent classes in classic zero, well, so suppose your group is uh, comp complex numbers, you want, unipotent class in classic zero, the index some uh, subset of the strata, the all strata which contain some unipotent class. Yeah. But if you take unipotent class of the dual group, they also can be seen in, in terms of the original group, because they appear as some, some strata. They're, they're not not uh, not strata which contain the unipotent class, some other strata, but unipotent class of dual group are seen in in, in the original group. They they, they are certain set of some other set other set of strata. <coughs> so now I'll give some uh, example in some low rank to see how, how this stratification looks like. So by the way, this stratification well. The word certification is different. No, no, it's no. different meaning. But here there's locally closed. So what kind of the strata are what they are? Yeah, so, so uh, first of all, if, uh, I think there was some person proved uh, uh, that they, they are locally closed. Not me, I think it was, was uh, Car Carnovale, uh, Giovanna Carnovale. He saw that st at least in good characteristic, but I think, I think the proof is also true in any. So strata are locally closed. That's one, one, st one statement. But uh, a closure of a stratum is not a union of strata. So it's not, it's not, not, not as good as that. No, okay. Smooth. What? No, no, no. If already in GLN are not smooth. Uh, no, no, sorry. G GLN are not smooth, but the uh, closure is not a union of, of uh, and in other types are not smooth. So there is a, the, so there is a big stratum, which is the regular. Yes. And is it the case that uh, you can have a natural, in some cases, the certification doesn't satisfy the frontier condition, but still you have a decreasing chain of closed subsets so that the differences are the strata. Is it yeah. the case here? Like you take the union of strata of dimension that most something, is it closed? I think so, yes. 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 <coughs> it's okay. This must have been part of this. Yes, part of it. So maybe I'll give an uh, example, some, some uh, low rank. So see what, see what happens. <coughs> so, so GL2, I think, is GL2. In this case, there are two strata, so G central and G uh, regular. If G is GL3, there are three strata, uh, which is, again, this one, this one, and everything else. So these are all classes of dimension, dimension uh, 0 and 6 and dimension 4. Uh, and if it's symplectic group, then it's a little bit more complicated. In this case, there are five strata. <coughs> so one is all. One is all classes of dimension eight. That's a regular set. Then all classes of dimension six. And then dimension four. There are actually only two conjugacy classes which have 
dimension for each one form a stratum by itself. One class of dimension four. And there's another 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 class of dimension four. <coughs> and then they're all all classes of dimension zero. So these are the five strata. And uh, uh, these four strata, each one contains a unipotent element over, over, over complex numbers. Uh, now, now I should say, uh, in, in characteristic different from two, uh, so if P is different from two, then this is a unipotent class. And this is a semi-simple class. But if P equals two, then both this and this are unipotent classes. <coughs> so what happens in classic two, there is an additional unipotent class which doesn't exist in classic zero, and uh, it, 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 it forms a, a stratum. <coughs> And as I mentioned, the, uh, the conjugate classes of the unipotent classes of a dual group can be viewed as a part of the set of strata. And they are, in fact, this one, this one, this one, and, and this one. It's so so, so in what? In classic zero, yes. It's different from two. Yes. So, so that's how you see the unipotent class of dual group in, in, inside the... In characteristic two, the dual group is... Uh, SP is... Uh, uh, yes, and for E8, maybe I, I just say again. So E8, uh, there are 75 strata. Uh, and so, so 70... Uh, contain unipotent class in classic zero, and, and four of them contain unipotent class only in characteristic two, and one contains unipotent class only in characteristic three, and in characteristic uh, two, at, uh, sorry, in, in uh, in uh, over complex numbers, this one stratum which has dimension 120, which is union of two conjugacy classes, one uh, one is unipotent, one is semi-simple, so that can also happen. Uh, okay, so I think that's that's uh, that's it. So. <coughs> Question. GLN in characteristic zero is the same as just the dimension of, um, of the orbit? No. No. Because you can have, no. Uh, that, that would, because total number of strata should be number of partitions. Okay. And the dimensions, there are, two, is, is, has, is, there are too few possible dimensions. Can you say explicitly what it is? Yes, but I, don't, uh, I think I'll get it wrong if I try, but, but it's written in my paper. paper so. But, but uh, oh I, I should say for classic zero, this de uh, for GLN, this decomposition has been known before. Uh, it was, it, it's in a paper, at least in the Lie algebra case, there's a, a thesis of Dale Peterson which was at Harvard a lo long time ago. So he, he defined the the composition of GLN of the algebra level into pieces according to partitions. And that makes sense for the groups, and, and it is the same as this one. And it is also the same as, as uh, there's a notion of uh, sheets, the sheets for, for any group or any Lie algebra. The, the, the sheets form or unions of conjugate classes of fixed dimension, but, the, but they are irreducible 
but they are not disjoint. So they're, 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 they're not, in that sense, they are not, not, not so nice. They're not disjoint. Sheets are not disjoint. Kind of two sheets which intersect. The each sheet is a union of conjugates. No, no. Each, each union of conjugates of fixed dimension. Yes. And they are irreducible. Each is irreducible. But uh, they are not disjoint. Yes. And what's the relation to your? Uh, <coughs> well, in GLN, these are exact. They are exactly the sheets. Ah. And other types. Uh, each uh, each of my things is a union of sheets, but but it's, uh, it's not 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 a junction sheet. Finite union, no. Finite union, yes. Yeah. What about singularities? Are can you expect something like the finite group singularities? Yeah, I don't I don't I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't know. There are no GLN, they are non singular. But uh, I, I think it's not known that in other types it's not. But I, 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 I don't know in exactly. Non-singular. Non all the, all those. Yes. Any other question? <laughs> so I guess we can thank the speaker again.